Hello everyone and welcome to this review of Zubuntu version 19.10 which is codenamed Aeon Ermine. Now do we have some spectacular changes with Zubuntu? Yeah, some notes here, not too many though. We've got a whole new desktop, XFCE version 4.14. So I have something new to talk about and that's why I'm doing this video now rather than uh, any of the other derivatives. Yeah, so a new desktop, so I don't have to keep repeating myself what I have done for the last few years, it seems like. Yeah, New desktop, but it's nice and stable. Well, it should be. <laughs> it's been long enough getting here. It may seem like I'm mocking them, but actually the XSE desktop really is nice and stable. And sometimes that's what you want in a distribution. You want your operating system to be stable and behave itself and forget all these fancy new things that... Uh, if you want more glitz and glamour, well, you could put Compiz on this desktop, like some people have been requesting I do, or you could use KDE. There's loads of options. Loads of options. Anyway, let's start with some mentions which I've done for the other distribution. So the parent distribution of Ubuntu has been cutting down the number of 32-bit packages. There's uh, only a few included in the system, enough to run Steam, as well as uh, a few other small applications. There's a push to move towards deb to snaps which means that if you install Chromium or the deb package of Chromium it will install the snap package instead. You can now choose to use the XFS file system at install time and for this distribution I thought I would do exactly that. Let's see how it looks. Um, you get a load of icons there on a desktop. <laughs> Not the best look really. Anyway let's take more of a look at it. To start with a look at the memory usage and that is a whopping 1.1 gig of memory used without anything open. But I wonder if this has anything to do with the XFS file system. Although I've not configured the file system to do anything in particular, we've just gone for the default of one partition on one drive. That could well be a factor because I know when I looked at this on Arch, I think with like an extension 4 file system, it's used about 500 meg of RAM with nothing open. We have the Linux kernel version 5.3. Mesa 19.1.6, the NVIDIA 435 drivers are included in the ISO file but are only installed if you choose to and if you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your system. And talking about the NVIDIA graphics, so the XFC version 4.14 desktop does have some improvements for the NVIDIA graphics as well as the high definition displays, the HIDPI displays. There's now a native screensaver application included, although I think I've mentioned before this is at a time when Screensavers don't seem to be used so much, but you know, if you still want to use a screensaver on your system, you now have the option to do it natively in the XFC desktop. If I open up the Funar File Manager, go across to Pictures, I'll just open a picture from one of Charlie Henson's wallpapers. These are some damn nice wallpapers that he does. Anyway, I just want to open something that looks good. Oh, one I'm never going to be able to find a link of, but uh, Dara Naram Abstract Wallpaper. So. If we look in the view menu, you can now set as wallpaper. Oh, configure which system is currently managing your desktop. Funny, I didn't get this on the Arch desktop, but yeah, we'll just go with the XFCE for the option. And so I'm just forgetting which side the close, minimize, and maximize buttons are on. But yeah. yeah, there we go. We now have the wallpaper applied through the Ristretto image viewer. Looking at the screen capture tool, you can now choose to host the image directly onto Imga. Nice little option there to have. Otherwise, what is there to say? We have the application launcher in the top left hand side, list of currently open applications along the top panel, notification and system menu on the right hand side, as well as the time, which when you click on it, opens up the calendar. The list of pre installed applications is fairly basic, really. I'm not going to read all these out, but we've got a few games, a couple of things on graphics, including the GIMP image editor. Firefox for the web browser, Parole for the media player, a partial suite of LibreOffice, and a few different tweaks you can do under settings and system. Let's look at the task manager. Where is all this memory being used? Where is this 1.1 gig of memory being used? Not really there on a desktop. That's why I think it's the underlying file system using it all. Caching. Hmm. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a deb to snap transition. So if you do sudo apt install Chromium browser, what you'll notice is it goes and installs the snap package. So you see it says installing the Chromium snap. 
I want to see how some of the snap packages turn out and well it looks like I've got some of the same issues that we have in the KDE desktop with the mouse cursors falling back to some plain default looking theme which is a complete contrast to the rest of the desktop. The snap of Inkscape has the correct mouse cursor but has a really bad theming on the menus that's completely different to the rest of the operating system. I know I didn't show much being open there but you can see the contrast with mouse pad. That's not a good look at all. I just noticed I installed the snap of GIMP and had the dev package pre-installed as well so which one's going to look better? Wow these both look pretty similar. I can't tell which is which there. Go on put me out of misery. Which one are you? Let's see, that was you belong to you and you belong to you. So GIMP 2.10.12 is going to be the snap and 10.8 is going to be the dev package. So yeah, I can't tell. You've got a different theme than you should have. So it's kind of disobeying the rest of the operating system. But that is a little bugbear of mine with application theming. I just think it should really look consistent throughout. Is it really too much to ask to have consistent theming throughout the operating system? Yeah, seems like it is a tall order. But at least the dev packages seem to retain the correct theming. It's just these uh, snap packages that are just really bad. We should not have them pushed as a default package for the desktop applications if this is the case where the theming just doesn't really work very well at all. Seems like you have a combination of having the correct menu theme with the bad mouse cursors or the correct mouse cursors and the bad menu theme. Anyway, that was a look at Zubuntu version 19.10. I have to say this uh, has actually been a little bit of a disappointment to me. I don't think it runs as snappy as I've seen it run in Arch. But stability wise, it all seems to be okay. So yeah, just seems to be a bit of a performance issue. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.